Call this meeting of the Pickens County Board of Elections and Registration to order at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Mr. Max Taylor, would you lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. We need to do a, a motion to approve the meeting, uh, the minutes of the meeting for July 29th. Uh, those have been previously distributed via email. So moved. Second. I would move in a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All hands? All opposed? Motion carries. Right. I think all the board members have a copy of our agenda in front of them. I need a motion to approve the agenda. So you shouldn't let me put my topic on the agenda because no one got the agenda before I submitted the request. She had it. Yeah, well, we didn't have it. Okay. Well. Would, you, would you like to make a motion to amend the agenda? Yes, I would. What would you make like to add? Make a motion to amend the agenda. To reflect what? Uh, I just want to add another topic. Um, this is a preliminary cybersecurity topic. What number do you, where, where do you want to put it before or after? Uh, after new business or after the pay increases, you can put it down there. That's fine. Okay. And how will this line item be worded? Pardon me? How do you want it worded? How do you want it worded? Uh, preliminary cybersecurity discussion. That's a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. We have a motion seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Down hands. All opposed? Motion carries. All right. We'll add that to the agenda. Cyber security. Discussion. Just a discussion. Uh, need a motion to approve the agenda as amended. So moved. Second. A motion duly seconded. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All hands, any opposed? Motion carries. Right. Brings us to old business. To my knowledge, there is none. Hey, I, have some. I would like to ask Stacy something. Um, I'd like an update on the GOP request for documents. I would uh, actually interfere in, not interfere, but redirect you. Uh, anything concerning open records requests go through the, uh, the county attorney. So I would redirect that to Phil. If, to just get an update? Yes. Anything concerning open records requests go through the attorney. Any other old business? Okay, new business. Um, we need to uh, <coughs> discuss pay increases for uh, both Stacy and Rhonda. Uh, we had kind of made some initial suggestions and, and I don't want to say promises, but we uh, we led them to believe as soon as we got they got their certifications completed that we would we would issue pay increases for them. Uh, at this time, I would make a motion that we increase the salary for Miss uh, Stacy Godfrey to forty-eight thousand dollars a year. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Second. Uh, is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Down hands. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right. Uh, Coming right behind that, we were looking to increase uh, Ms. Rhonda Wagner's pay rate to $17 per hour. Uh, I will make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. second. Okay. We have a motion to do the second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Down hands. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right. Uh, that brings us to B, preliminary cyber security discussion. I will defer to Ms. Wright. Okay. Um, 
And talking about the elections network, as you know, this has been a big couple of days uh, for the symposium. And um, I know that you want to make things more convenient, but we need to make sure that convenience does not make us more vulnerable. Uh, I don't want to trade security for convenience. Uh, we all have to be uh, concerned about election integrity. And the public needs to understand the steps that we are taking to counter cyber threats. Uh, the 2020 election broke public trust. We have a lot of work to do to ensure ballot and election integrity to repair the public trust. Hackers are attacking rural counties. According to the Keschel report, Cherokee County is suspect for hacking and even if Pickens County wasn't hacked in the last election, we're next. We're next in the line. Uh, vulnerabilities show up every day for critical election systems. Um, for instance, um, CISA released a active third uh, threat activity on Microsoft Cloud environments, specifically Microsoft 365. Um, in April, emergency directive for Windows Print Spooler service. I mean, there's a ton of them. If you, uh, I've got, this is this is the page of August of alerts. Okay, these are these are all just for August alerts. From who? CVE details, cyber threats. CVE. Where did it get? Where did it come from? CVE. What's CVE? It's the. I'll pass it down to you. I'm not sure, but this is the uh, an ultimate cyber threat. I'll pass it down to you. Well, there's no, I don't think anybody would argue that there's cyber threats. Right. Are they, all these, That's right. Are all these there are lots of questions just, we have. Yeah. No, no, all kinds of networking, all kinds of equipment, all kinds of, whether it's from routers to laptops to it's everything. Uh, there's lots of questions. What is in place for our cyber incident detection and notation, notification? Does the election's infrastructure comply with NIST? We don't know. What security measures are in place for critical software? Is SQL What's software missed? installed? NIST, National Institute of Standards. NIST, okay, I thought missed. you said NIST. Uh, can laptops be used as a bridge into our system? We know they can. Uh, you know, sometimes less computer power is more secure. Here's some other questions. I'll pass these out. These are just some general questions that I'd like to get answered. There are four copies here. You can pass those out. As a first line of defense, I'm suggesting that we acquire a CISA assessment followed up by an unbiased third party assessment. Now this is when we get our entire network into place, okay? so. Uh, January 17, the DHS designated election system as critical infrastructure. This designation enabled DHS to administer cybersecurity and physical security assistance to election officials upon request. CISA offers free, voluntary assistance to state and local election officials to support their infrastructure security. This is a free service to us, so there should be no reason not to put it to use. Um, I, what is this? CISA? CISA? Yep. Uh, cyber, uh, cyber, cyber Security and Infrastructure Securities Agency. Yeah, CISA. So there's no reason. It's free. It's a free service to us. Um, not so sure I trust the federal government, but it's a first line of defense. Um, I'm doing more research into third party assessments um, so we can double check. And this is once we get our network going. Uh, I want to do my best to make sure that no holes in our network and our elections are secure. We owe it to the public. So basically, these are more questions just just to um, just to, for you know to show you. There's questions on chain of custody, questions on poll book, questions on ballot. Questions? No, those are different. Uh, vote tally questions. We, we we need to we need to know the answers to these questions about our system. 
do you have the uh, do you have the expertise to evaluate uh, what we need to do? Well, at? I worked in the gambling business. I programmed in gambling business, and if you want to know about a secure a secure okay okay, so I have a little bit of, of knowledge about it. Yeah. So we are uh, we I mean, like we, above, I mean, are we controlled by state requirements or don't we have to follow? I, I can't hear like you. I said, aren't we kind of controlled by state? That's what I was federal wondering. requirements for so do we can no, we no, go we above can, and beyond? Can, yeah, yeah. CISA is federal. So, no, we can, we can uh, get into these systems. We can test these systems. This is our job, to make them secure for the public. What systems? Election our, our system. election systems. So, okay. all right. So, hang on now. Uh, the election system, or the, what? Not you, just, not just, not just. Let's say the new laptops, right. because people can bridge into a laptop. People can bridge into by cell phone. They can bridge into the network, and they can, and go into the uh, actual voting systems. Right, but depending on the, the desktop, you can do the same thing. Well. If you, unless you're there with a cell phone and you're outside and you hack in, no. So, so yes, we're talking about bad actors. Right. I, okay. I, I understand that. But so, what, what you're wanting to secure, you, you were talking about our, our network once it was established. Yes. You're wanting to... They test, they test out. The system will assess the network. They put on these things called Albert sensors, I believe they're called, and they, um, they test our vulnerabilities. Okay. Did the other computer people here that work with us? That, um, that, that, that's really my only concern. Is right now we've got Eclipse Network. Right? They, they, our our network yeah, at well, the elections office is maintained by the county. Yeah. So anything that we do would have to be cleared by the county commissioners as well. Call CISA. I'd like Stacy well, to make a uh, request from CISA. Number one and see and when they can come in they can they test all the systems no matter who we have uh maintaining our network right, but before we look at the go look at their website I, I don't think there's any argument okay here's what i would say look you got it i think there's a lot of stuff we need to figure out like at this point i don't know that she even knows what to really ask or who to talk to uh, i have information for her right here that's fine so provide her that information or you know have you called them yet i have called them no i've done the research that's all well and let's i mean at least try and do a little bit of legwork for her. why not isn't that our job uh, okay. You want me to make the appointment? Well, I'll, 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 I'll line it up. Well, I'll line I'm it just up. saying, figure it out because if there's, they, they may say, oh, you've got a county system. I want to know when, this. okay, when will our network be, uh, uh, will be intact? When will our network, I don't know that. We, we don't know the answer to that question. Okay. The, the materials are ordered, uh, they have not arrived yet. Right. But before we schedule anything with anybody that touches that network, we need to clear it with Eclipse and the commissioner. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't think um, and, and probably more so the commissioner than Eclipse but it's the county's network before we touch that network we need their permission to do so no they 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 are totally outside from what I understand this is totally outside and they don't uh, you don't need to give them passwords or anything like that, like that. they they put it I think it's called an Albert sensor and they put things they try to see what leaks you have and it's a federal it's a federal I got agency. that, but they're talking about the election system and the election system. Well, it's our network and infrastructure. Go to the website and look before you, you know, Which look web? before. Talk about the CISA website? Yeah. yeah. Well, so can we take this as an action item and we'll yes. all independently do some research and we'll yes. put it on the agenda for the next Yeah, meeting. yeah. That's why I said it was okay. preliminary. Right. Yeah. But I think um, <coughs> it's, it's something as a first step to get their assessment. Since you've already it's a got, free service. Since you've got some of that pulled down already, I would just ask you to send it to the board so that we're not having to go and scrounge for what you've already done and then the, the CISA stuff and all of that. Okay. Get that there. You've got all that digital, so you just email it. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Also, I have some other things for Stacy. These are basic um, in the office things to look out for. They're called the air gap myths. 
and it's basically what, uh, let's say, Eclipse would tell us is, oh yeah, it's safe. Well, maybe not, okay? So these are some other things that I'd like to give to you to uh, look out for, just to keep an eye out, and I'll give you this information on system, okay? Since we're on that topic, and I don't know if everybody is aware, but there's a Wi-Fi open connection app that you see at the office. Really? In, in MLG um, 25409 or something like some kind of weird thing. But it's not our equipment. Well, it is, but it's not. It's so not through the network. It is. It's not linked into the network. It's completely separated. But it's the Wi-Fi signal that they have on the generator, which provides for a service so that people that, if you pay for it, you can get updates or whatever's going on with the generator. Call on that today. A little generator. The power generator. The power generator at the office. Oh. That, that's its sole function. That's its sole function. It's just, it's just like, it's just, but it's not connected to anything. It's completely open right now. In fact, they don't have it secured, which is why I was able to connect to it. Hmm. So somebody could, could get to it and mess up the generator? No, no it, it's just it's just, just a lot status. Of it's it's just like if there's some error or something like that that pops up on it or something like that, then you can get it. But it's a pay for service, fifty bucks a year. Hmm. Okay. Any other cybersecurity discussion? Um, no, basically that's about it. I just want to make sure that this is, um, you know, that we do something because we have lost public trust in this election, and we need to to repair that. It's a lot of about, uh, I'll say that. Uh, re rebuilding public trust is something that we all need to take very seriously, and I'm, I'm absolutely on board. So thank you. Um, staff comments. Ms. Stacy. We finished up all of our training in Atlanta last week. Um, that was very informative. Um, we made some, some really good contacts with some um, surrounding counties that were there. Um, they gave us some really good advice. Um, right now we are getting ready for qualifying that starts next week. So Monday through Wednesday next week we'll be qualifying and the candidates um, for the three municipalities will be coming in to turn in all their paperwork. So um, other than that we're getting ready, um, getting our supply order ready for the Secretary of State from the supply store. Um, and we've been answering several phone calls this week. I believe um, there was maybe something on the news this week about um, U.S. citizenship and, and voting. Um, we've had a couple phone calls uh, about that, that we've reached out to the Secretary of State. They've sent us some information about how to verify citizenship. Um, and I, I talked to a lady today, and she asked me to mail her a copy of it. Um, so that, that's something that we've been dealing with in the last couple of days. I know somebody said that they saw it on the news. But we're just, we're still learning and, and, and trying to get prepared for this upcoming election. And then now you guys have been to the training, but um, I think you want another reiteration of that because it was kind of, we were thrown in for well, the last minute. Yes, if they offer it again, um, the way that, um, because we came in late to it, the way that, that we got our classes scheduled was just where they had room for us. We were able to get all the classes, but they weren't done in order. So if they offered training, I would like to go back and take as well as if it's free training, um, I would like to go back and take it in the order that you use it in. Because the, we started with um, one of the, the LNA testing class first, and that was one of the very mm -hmm. last things that you do and then we, we hop to something in the middle and then we went to the beginning so I would like to now that we have a little bit of an understanding of it I would like to go back and take it again if they, they offer it. If you do will you notify me as well? Yeah, yeah. It, if they offer it again mm -hmm. I will send the email out to the okay. board members um, and if y'all are interested in attending as well um, mm -hmm. and in your binders I included some emails that I had received um, the last couple of days of that from some media outlets about our meeting times. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted y'all to be aware that they've reached out to us um, and, and what they said and if you want to take into consideration.
consideration change in the meetings, but it's the same night as the Board of Education. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason why um, no pickings and smoke signals are not here tonight. And then Phil Landrum's not here tonight because they're all at the Board of Education meeting. Mm -hmm. So what would we... So we need to sit down with the calendar sometime between now and next month and, and nail down a time that doesn't conflict with anybody else. <laughs> Either that or if it's possible so that we're not always trying to accommodate. I mean, I'm okay with whatever because I'm pretty flexible, but if we're going to do that, I'd like to try and word it in such a way that we can make it more generic and make it to say something like once a month as defined by, because we have to put a public announcement out anyway, and that way every time we go to change a meeting, we don't have to, we don't have to update the bylaws. We don't have to update the bylaws. Mm -hmm. If that's something the bylaws, we do, mm -hmm. the bylaws, yeah. I know Sorry. that they said um, a lot, like the commissioners meeting, Board of Education, they're all done on Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. I don't think that, and then City Council, I think, has Monday nights, but I don't think there's a whole lot of Tuesday nights. Or to a Wednesday night. What, is anything on Wednesday night? I would have to check the calendar. For the and I'm okay with Tuesday as long as it's not the second Tuesday because that's the, the GOP meeting. How about, yeah, how about Wednesdays? Anybody? A lot of people go to church on Wednesday nights. Yeah, oh. that's true. Yeah. On Wednesdays, okay. If it's open to the public, that would be Third Tuesday. Whenever y'all sit down and, and if y'all decide to change it and find the date, we can always check with the commissioners to make sure that nobody is using the commissioner's meeting room. Um, and, and then if we need to amend the bylaws, then we can. Maybe it'd be good to know what all the other dates are, so we know what we can't do. And on, the, <laughs> on our county website, it lists. Oh, it does the, it? Yes. All okay. The, the different departments that have meetings, um, and then we can just check, you know, with Board of Education, which there's is going to be, you know, the second Thursday of the month. We know that already, um, but we can we can look at, at different options and, and look at what's already scheduled. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that as another action item and tackle it before the next meeting. Okay. Brings us to public comments. Mr. Kaler, do you have anything for us? Uh, uh, no public comments. Okay. Board comments. Ms. Rapp. Um, nope. I'm good. I, I might just make one comment. Please and do just so. say thank y'all for serving. No, thank you. I mean, thank, thank y'all, thank y'all for serving and and working through this on behalf of all of us who vote and to try to make it better, safer, easier, more convenient. So uh, just thank you. Thank you. I have no comments at that time. All right, this time that brings us to adjournment. Do I have a motion? Motion. motion. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All hands, any opposed? Motion carried, and we are adjourned at 6.54 p.m.